I'm Kendra, this is the Weekly Watch List, and today we are reacting to Bridgerton Season 3, Part 2, Episodes 5 and 6. Let's get into it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendra, this is the Weekly Watch List, and this morning, because it is really early in the morning we are reacting to bridgerton season three part two anyway oh 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 oh, oh, oh. i'm so excited oh. it's like it's like three four in the morning it's like almost four in the morning and i am in my gym jams i did not dress especially for this occasion you know i wanted to but uh, a bitch is tired. I got up at the crack of dawn so I could get this show on the road. So you're gonna have to deal with Kendra and her gym jams as she uh, salivates over Colin and Penelope because I hear the rumors are churn. Uh, I have no idea how I managed to avoid spoilers. I saw like a couple of little things that I'm just choosing to sort of like not think about right now. But I hear that we are going to be fed very well that there's going to be a sex scenes a plenty um well love scenes i call them love scenes um and that we're gonna get some uh some nude body so i'm not sure why this excites me so much at uh, this couple wow this couple so like i don't know if any of you want to check it out but i actually reacted to the walking dead the ones who live for my other absolute favorite couple in television rick and michonne and I think I've been obsessed with Rick and Michonne for like, oh my god, well, I'll give or take seven years. Um, and no other television couple has made me feel the way Colin and Penelope make me feel. I don't know what it is about these two, but they are so damn sexy together. I just love them. I love each of them individually. I love their personalities. I love their backgrounds. I love their characters. Um, their characters are not perfect. Their characters are flawed. Their characters make mistakes. Even in the book, you know, I, I hate to say it, but, and I know this is uh, obviously Regency era romance. You know, these are romance novels but these men are a little uh these Bridgerton dudes some of them are a little uh you know in, 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 in word in my sinistic so it's refreshing to see someone as sensitive a man as sensitive and romantic as Colin also shown in a light that reflects how sexy he is how sexy that is and that droves and droves of men and women are really into this dude i'm really into this dude and then we have penelope you know that's luke newton doing a brilliant job and then we have penelope played by um nicola coughlin and good god i am just so anxious and excited to go backwards and see this progression of this character penelope has just gotten essentially uh proposed to by Colin uh, Fingerington, they're calling him online these days, and she's about to get taken into the Bridgerton house so they can let everybody know. I'm excited to see how everybody reacts, especially Eloise, because she's been just got this stick up her butt about a lot of stuff. And uh, I would like for her to be happy. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what's going on with Lady Violet and uh, her new love interest, uh, Lady Danbury's brother. What's going to happen with this Lady Whistledown thing? How are they going to play out what happened in the books? The way that Colin found out about Lady Whistledown, the way that Penelope eventually sort of overcame the looming threat of what revealing herself as Lady Whistledown uh, could potentially bring about for her relationship and for, you know, her life, really. Um, okay, so enough chitter chatter chow. I don't even care. I just, it's, it's so early. Let's do this. Let's, let's let us react to <laughs> Bridgerton Season 3, Episode 5 and 6. Here we go. Dearest reader. Hmm, she doesn't look very happy. <gasps> oh, they picked up right after he proposed or shouted at her to marry him. 
she looks so nervous. Don't be nervous, babe. He's got you. Oh, they look so good together. Don't be nervous. It is said that I know he literally just finished ruining you in the back of a carriage. And one part speed. Secrecy and speed. Hello. Look at him. Look at him. An announcement came with great speed, indeed. Oh, I love that they're letting us hear her heartbeat. We are engaged. <laughs> He's so corny with it. Oh. <laughs> I'm so high right now. I do not think Penelope can. <laughs> he looks so happy, <laughs> and she does not. I am. Delighted for you both. Thank you, Lady Bridget. Oh, man. She seems. What is your she needs a minute. expression for? So is she. Girl, what is your problem? You can't be happy for your brother. And always wait, my brother. Yes, your brother. What's wrong? Being quite serious. For how long has this been going on? It's very new. I'm just as surprised as you are. You cannot marry him. Uh, are you starting to piss me off, Eloise? And until he knows the real you. He cannot possibly love you. I will tell him you have oh, a Why is she so damn upset? We'll be back. God. I'm sure of it. God. Regardless of how it happened. Damn, she spoiled that girl's engagement announcement. Like, you couldn't hold that shit in couple. for 10 minutes? And just be like, hey, hey, bro, happy for you. Okay, excuse me, I'm tired. Like, you can <laughs> Just had to cause a scene! It may come as a surprise to all that Mr. Bridgerton's rumor that looking good. Look at snatching Miss Featherington find a husband has instead led to the two of them finding each other. <laughs> Get back to me. Ah! Oh! Ooh, that was a serve. Oh, good news all around. Engagements. Anthony's back. There's going to be a baby. Hold on. Just coming back from your booty call. And from where have you returned? Smelling like a lady. Is that from what is wrong? Devon was very well, but first, explain. How can you be a cynic? My feelings for Penelope are not a thunderbolt from the sky. Perhaps I have always felt something for her. My only foolishness this time was not me. Yes, yes. Oh. Y'all didn't notice the, the red-haired girl hanging around the house all those years? And have you said these words to her? It did all happen rather mm -hmm. swiftly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's swift because you... Are you going to duel with your own brother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mama, this is how I hear of my daughter's engagement. I did not much feel like announcing the happy news to you. Happy? She's about to stand up for herself. To be sure, but with stand all up for this, yourself. It is a secure match. You've thrown that away to play out what? A fancy on the neighbor boy? Colin cares for me. Has he told you that he loves you? What him? is your problem? Not in those exact words. What the f business is it of yours, ma'am? And now you've been out till all hours of the night with no chaperone. And then you traipse in this morning with news of an engagement using Lord knows what wiles to entrap him. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bridgerton is here. I will not be staying long. But since we are all speaking... Oh, so free, whoa. That was not meant whoa. for your age. I am so oh, oh. Your daughter did not entrap me. I proposed to her out of love, nothing less. I advise you not to sully our Bridgerton ah. name by suggesting otherwise. Oh my god! That was, I, uh. Calm down, Kendra. That was awesome. <gasps> I wanted to show oh, you this before oh, I went. Oh, okay. I heard about this scene. I heard about this scene. I heard about this scene. Okay. We've been in the family a very long time. Y'all got a whole other house? This is to be our home. <gasps> I know it does not look like much now, but once we lay out some of our furnishings okay. and decorations she's overwhelmed are you concerned that we should not be here alone we probably shouldn't and i thought well since we are to be married no. God, this boy is cute as f you do not realize how much that meant to me what you said to my mother no one has ever stood up for me like they're gonna make me cry i will always stand up for you these mothers gonna make me cry because i love you are you sure oh penelope everything i said to your mother is true and you should see it as well. 
Okay, girl. Oh, oh God! God. They're standing in front of me! Oh, Bravest woman I've ever known. You make me feel seen in ways I've never felt seen before. And then there's the way your hair is raised on your shoulder. Oh my God! This voice! Where your eyes shine when you look at me like two blue pools. The firmness of your lips parted just so. The softness of your skin. Oh my God damn, it's too early in the morning for this. And then there are other parts I've been, I've been dreaming. Oh my God! Oh my god. Oh my god. You must tell me to stop if you do not wish for that. You don't wish for you to stop. Girl, no, you got her too hot to bother, baby. You got to go on ahead and follow through on that. Don't be shy, girl. Don't be shy. Lie down. Oh. Can't even show half of this shit, but god damn. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, me too, girl. The f <laughs> oh, that. Thank you, sir, for your service. You are so beautiful. Oh, God. Now tell me what to do. Touch me. What? No, this shit is f***ing real. Anyway. Not bad. Not yet. This is just for- This is just the f***ing foreplay. Are you ready? Oh, God. Is there more? Thank you, baby. Yes, there's more. They really- oh! <sighs> 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 Bitch, I'm <f> speechless! <laughs> I'm gooped up gagged. <laughs> was it all right? <laughs> yes, it was perfect! Woo! We're we do it Girl! <laughs> Give me five minutes. <laughs> I did not think anything could top the carriage scene, but, 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 <laughs> I got a process here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. He's so hot. With you and my mess. Oh god, yes. I know you're more experienced. There is nothing. That compares to this. Not even the women in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> she worried about what's about. something I must tell you. What is it? <gasps> she got to tell me right now. Uh, oh yeah, of course not. Damn, that must be the servants, no doubt. Bring you my personal effects. <sighs> Thank you, Netflix and Shondaland, for giving me more glimpses of uh, Luke Newton's ass. I mean, I'm sorry to objectify yeah, the boy, but still. Possible. Do you smell that? <laughs> it reeks of weakness. She antagonizes no one. She makes no attempt to gloat about my sparkler's turn toward the mediocre. She's undefended. Now is the time to strike. She's gonna try to unmask with some down. He's so happy. Look at him. What is it? It's a message from the Queen. Mm. Dearest members of my most esteemed ton, I hereby declare that whoever brings legitimate evidence of Lady Whistledown's identity to the palace oh. shall receive a £5,000 reward. Yours truly, Her Majesty, Queen Charlotte. Finally, the woman will get the consequences she deserves. Girl. Imagine unmasking Whistledown. No, you gotta tell her. You will not try, will you? I'm certain I will not have to. Someone else will surely root her out. What did you wish to tell me? Nothing. It is not important. Louise, I've been looking for you. That's what I love about Colin. He does not waste time. He's like, oh, here, there, there she is. I need to talk to you. Come here. Louise. It is strange enough to have one's brother 
speaking about feelings for one's friend. Girl, it's not about you! I am deeply sorry, but I love her, Al, in more ways than I can even express. Perhaps better you do not try. And you loved her once, too. I remember the day the Featheringtons moved in across the square. From that day on, it was Penelope this and Penelope that, and Penelope and I are going to be Don Quixote, and we are going to be <laughs> nice. Penelope is going to be your sister. Yeah, because you, so you, you, you need to, I just want to straighten up. up. In your greatest dream, it would mean the world to me to have your blessing. And I know it would mean a great deal to Penelope too. Colin is in full husband mode. Good on you, babe. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a gift for you. Are you going to accept it this time? Do you despise Whistledown as much as I do? Is this finally going to kickstart a little concern for Penelope? As my wife, Miss Kappa will reflect me. None of this fashionable dress. And we do not flit about town engaged in gossip within the Tom. We shall attend no more than one ball per month. And only if the hosts are of strong moral character. I certainly do not believe in music. Oh, oh, girl, run. Girl, you about to sell your daughter out to that? And of course, I, I do still expect babies. I would be happy with four or five. Of course. Girl, you know what? You know what? Do you? Do you, boo boo? I, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at you, girl. I'm not mad at whatever you do. Go ahead and do what you got to do. My bride to be. The drinks nearby. That lady is a piece of work, but I think I kind of love her. I'm sorry. Eloise mentioned that Miss Calvert invited herself. I rather relish her presence, so that she can watch you in your. Oh. Call it. Talk about the quote unquote female gaze. That's call it. That's call it. She is. Lady Bridget. Lord Anderson, welcome. Marcus, I did not realize that you were coming tonight. Mm, you don't know what your brother doing? And I invite <laughs> What did the. <laughs> ah, why you don't like your brother? Either my brother is the most understanding person ever born, or you have not yet told him. This secret, this lie. With the Queen's reward, it is Bitch, can you not find a private room? Why are you doing this in the middle of the damn floor? If it's too difficult for you to reveal the truth, I will be merciful and reveal it to him myself. You have until midnight. Tactless. You couldn't just wait until the engagement party is over. You can't just come to Penelope privately yourself and talk to her like a real woman. I'm trying to enjoy <laughs> Colin and Penelope. <laughs> you ruining the vibe, bitch. Oh, yes. Oh, no, he's nervous. The boots. Oh, no, he's gonna f*** it up. Oh, oh mud. no. A great deal of oh, mud. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's sinking. He's going down. Oh. Shall we get some refreshment? Hmm. I say, stay down. For in the mud, you may happen to be blessed with your future bride. <laughs> <laughs> it was so my atrocious bit. riding. That led me to meet Miss Featherington, Penn. And I'm so grateful to be here with her tonight. I look forward to our life together, to knowing each other fully, and to never taking a single day with you for granted. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh to you my both. god, no. Here is to truly knowing each other before the clock runs out. What the f are you? Oh god. Tactless! You're talking about the, the mud boots? I should like to share with you three the true story of my muddy boots. <laughs> you can't talk about the boots. A suspicious streak of mud found its way into our home. <laughs> and there we were, myself, the servants, even my mother, chasing this mysterious mud through the house. Even as servants tried to clean it, more spots appeared, as if from a phantom. Phantom was, in fact. Me. Yeah, me. that's cute. <laughs> that's adorable. Chasing the mud with my own boots. And all that to say, Sometimes I miss what is right in front of me. I not miss Francesca. I like uh, this. I saw straight away. I like him. Uh... This girl's about to have a panic attack. Excuse me. Oh, Penelope, babe. Ooh. We 
saw three young ladies chasing after delivery boys this morning to seek her identity. <gasps> Surely she would hate to be unmasked. <laughs> Perhaps she would love to be unmasked. Freedom to do whatever she wants, not to mention the money. That is a good point. She may see herself living a finer life than any of us. Something is bothering you. I can feel it. I would understand. If you got swept up in the carriage, if, if you do not now share my feelings. I need to tell you something. Colin, I need to tell you. Eloise, please have a servant fetch a cold towel. Mother. Eloise, Lady girl, girl. girl. Nerves, nerves. You get on my nerves. I have an announcement. Yo, this party is lit. The speculation. You would like to know who Lady Whistledown is? I am she. Miss Kepper. Surely you jest. I jest not. And you are right. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Ooh, woo, woo. Oh, I loved it. Now, how on earth are they going to recover from this? It has not been delivered. No one has it. No lady Perhaps whistled down. the queen has finally discovered her. I had hoped she'd report to my betrothal. Well, I had hoped she'd report my new dress. Dress at a camper. That blonde backbiter. That's exactly what she is. I think she is a genius. I cannot wait for her next issue. I will not insult the devil by drawing parallels between him and Cressida Cowper. For one is a liar, a fraud, a succubus of the first water, and the other is not known to this author. You have a visitor. Colin. I've been worried. I'm well enough. Perhaps you should not be here in case it is catching. There is nowhere else I would rather be. I know there is something you wish to tell me. But I'm happy to be patient until you are ready to unfold whatever it is you are feeling. I love him. I cannot speak about it now. Yes. <laughs> but I certainly do not seem to be <laughs> 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 it. It is rather remarkable. All the unkindnesses she has written about you and me and our families. And then to unmask herself at our engagement party. It's just like Cressida to take that which is not hers. Mm. Do you think it is really her? I always imagined Lady Whistledown might be more clever perhaps she is big before i go <laughs> colin in husband mode is like woo 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 sexy wear? boots i was just finished setting it <gasps> oh my god and yet still only half as beautiful as you <sighs> oh there's all this ink have you been writing oh yes um letters to uh, to share our happy news. Okay, that was of course. That was pretty good. I shall leave you to it. Good day, Miss Featherington. For now. <laughs> I can't wait to get all up in them guts again. <laughs> I totally feel her anxiety. She's finally getting everything she wanted, and yet it all hangs in the balance because of this huge secret that she has. Ooh, girl, this show. Cressida. You must take back your statement. We can say the Lady Bridgertons gave you too much wine and you were overcome. You do not believe me? I know, my daughter. Lady Whistledown is an astute writer. You have many gifts, but cleverness is not amongst them. Oh, damn. Oh, they come for you. You are summoned to the palace at the behest of Her Majesty the Queen. You didn't think that through, babe? You didn't think that part through? You, you, you didn't think that part through? Lord Anderson? What are you doing there? Lady Bridgerton. And I simply forgot my uh, hat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, you didn't forget. I don't for that. I don't buy that for a second. You Were you shit. just um, passing by? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose I could have sent a footman to fetch this, could I not? <laughs> but then I would not have been able to see you again. Oh, very direct. But to thank you for such an enjoyable evening. Very smooth. Quite a night, was it not? <laughs> oh, oh, she's interested too. She walked uh, closer. Besides a bit of a headache, I am well. <laughs> the Riz. How are you? I take it you sensed a chilly departure between my sister and me. 
Perhaps, though it is none of my business. I do believe we will work it out. My sister was the firstborn. But you were the first boy. Mm -hmm. I shall let you nurse your headache in peace. <laughs> but I do hope to see you soon. As do I. Look at Uma. Okay. Uh, look at Uma. <laughs> oh girl. Now she's walking around just thinking. You're just gonna be thinking. Look at you. You're gonna be thinking. Mm, about stuff. You ain't studying these kids. You thinking. Benedict and these kids. <laughs> if he's not out like gallivanting in somebody's bed, he's just hanging out with the kids. Always like this. You must He's scandalized. Excuse me. I have been taken ill of the plague, and you are all doomed by association. Three banana macarons for the one chocolate. Family! John has a small announcement to make on our behalf. Very small, indeed. We are to marry. <laughs> she laughed like, what? No, y'all not. Congratulations. No, you not. For real. <laughs> I know you do not wish to hear it, but it is truly bewildering how quickly one person can become all that matters. My only concern now is with her well-being and our future together. Perhaps I can make Lady Wissodan go away, so she shall not be able to harm any of us again. You will speak with Miss Carper. With the scribe herself. Finally. And look how much it means to Colin. Oh my God. Okay, finally, not being selfish, Eloise. Good job. I mean, at least I hope that's what you're gonna do. I was going to tell him, but you did not. And when the time came, neither did I. Finally some understanding, please. Once I get this issue out, I do still plan to tell him. No, why tell him? When the better thing is for you to put down your pen, Cressida has done you a favor. She'll never be able to write a convincing issue. Let the column die with her name and no one will ever be the wiser. Eloise, I refuse to let Cressida Cowper take credit. It would break my heart. And what of Colin's heart? It would break his to I find just the truth. said I'm gonna tell him. Lady Whistledown is my name, not hers. Your name is about to be Bridgerton. Man, I really hope that they could reconcile. Being a part of your family is all I've wanted. And there was a time I would have given anything to know Lady Whistledown. You had a good run for a while. But it's just gossip. Let it go. I am a woman of my word. I will give you your reward as soon as you give me your latest issue. Forgive me, Your Majesty. With the bounty on my head, my publisher has grown wary. At but least she found something I to say. I should have an issue forthcoming. Know thine enemy, Miss Cowper. I know Lady Whistledown as well as I know myself. Unless you can print a convincing issue, I do not wish to see you in my court again. Ooh! <laughs> That's why I love the queen. Bitch, get to writing or get going. What are you doing up here? Reading old issues of Whistledown. I'm still not feeling well. Penelope, you have managed to capture the affections of a man of great name and means. You have the rest of your life to lie around and do nothing. But for now, until you walk down the aisle and settle into this marriage, your duty is to make Mr. Bridgerton feel as if he is the most important person in the world. What about my dreams? Ladies do not have dreams. They have husbands. Girl, I want to know who hurt you. Sometimes what you wish for may come true through him. I chose a match for security, and he could not even provide that. Hmm. But he gave me you girls. And my greatest wish has always been for you three to do better than I did. And you have. Who would have thought that it would be... Your lucky Penelope. Her mother that would make me cry. Marriage between Mr. Colin Bridgerton and Miss Penelope Featherington. God, that sucks. I would love to be able to sit with my fiance in church, dude. Why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony. Shut the f up, Eloise. Ye are to declare it. I love him. Very well. Mr. Bridgerton 
and Miss Featherington shall be married here in three weeks' time. <laughs> She's like, you better take it, my good Judy. I know there is something you have been meaning to tell me. In fact, there's something I've been meaning to tell you for a very long time. That I have loved you since the moment we met. An embarrassingly long time, really. Even the years I pretended to be your friend, I was, but I loved you in secret. Oh my God. I have always loved you, Colin. <laughs> I will spend a lifetime begging your forgiveness for not seeing you sooner. Oh my God. Colin, what are you doing? I'm not dancing. <gasps> my future wife in the church and we'll be married. <laughs> <laughs> Were you ever punished as a child? <laughs> <sighs> They're just so stinking cute. What the hell are you doing? Searching for gossip that you ain't get. Eloise, I've slipped out. Please do not tell anyone I'm here. I wondered if possibly you would like to join me. Hmm. You do so enjoy words, reading at least, and perhaps you might like to help me write the column. Yeah, Cousin, do girl, you remember no. what was written about me last year? What you wrote in Whistledown? Forgive me, I do not know why I wrote it. I don't think you know much of anything, but girl. But together we can write the wrong. I do not wish to be your collaborator, and I cannot be your friend any longer. I'm sorry. Damn, Eloise, you cold with it. It's no wonder Penelope abandoned you. All you ever do is talk. You are clearly just envious that I've made something of myself. It is quite a feat. And after spending a season feeling nearly invisible, I almost understand why one might be driven to write it. Congratulations on your hard-earned success. Okay, Penelope. I understand. Everybody around you is pressuring you to choose Colin's happiness and, and just let yours only be half fulfilled. He's so cute. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is gonna, ooh, this is gonna be a clash. Cause he's feeling his, himself and his writing and she's probably gonna be depressed about giving up Lady Whistledown. Very nice pairing with our cake. Look at her doting on her daughter. Now, I'm so happy they're getting along. And she is too. Miss Penelope. It has been too long. It was not until your delivery boy dropped off your last column that I learnt you are engaged. <laughs> yes. I'm very happy. And when you sneak out to write your column, I assume you will tell Mr. Bridgerton. That is what I have come to tell you. The issue you read about my engagement will be my last. Penelope, that column's your life's work. I found a love match, Genevieve. I do not wish to take that for granted. Girl, you better drop some truth on it, Genevieve. You know my favorite part about dressmaking? Thank you. Pull Miss Violet. glow on a woman's face when she puts the dress on. I can't imagine ever giving that feeling up. She's happy, but she's not quite happy. Dear reader, it is I, Lady Whistledown. Today I bring you much gossip from about the many lands, near and far, far and wide. Oh dear. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm frightened. Well, you shouldn't have done it, hon. I mean, I know you were desperate, but... Okay, uh, now I really am feeling sorry for this girl. Oh, God, I love that wig, bitch. Work. You do not spend much time in society. I find the entire thing much too pretentious. Judgmental, really. <laughs> I cannot imagine what anyone would judge you for. Then Tilly has not told you all of our stories. What the f he looks like a f***ing vampire. What's up, bro? <laughs> what is happening? Can I ask you a personal question? I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it, but do I ship it? Apparently, the yeah. wine has made me rather rude. The wine has also made you rather charming. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I should go ensure Tilly has not worked herself up into a frenzy of a dessert. Bro! That was a clear invitation. I don't. I don't even have. I don't. I can't even tell when people are flirt with me. But that it was flirt. What? Do we get our first by Bridgerton? Ho, ho, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We were just talking about you. Would you perhaps like to join us? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. What you gonna do? 
Ah, I've forgotten. I'm supposed to be somewhere. I knew it. You forgive me. I knew it. I knew he literally ran. Mm. Do you think he'll come back? Is he gonna do it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you manage to write something? Actually, I feel like this is the first time I've liked Cressida. She's, I mean, her coming to this ball is pretty bold. I don't, I still don't know how you're gonna pull an article off. I've been editing my travel diary into a manuscript. I'm still removing some of the more personal messages. Those parts are only for you. Perhaps I could edit them for you before you sell them to a bookseller. I do so enjoy writing. You do write the very best letters. But I might like to prove to myself that I do it on my own. Oh, she's searching for a you. purpose. I want to be worthy of you. He is so sweet! The Queen has summoned Miss Cowper. It may finally be time for Lady Whistledown to meet her consequences. Miss Cowper, Your Majesty. Were you invited here tonight? Were you? No, Your Majesty. I simply wanted to give you a gift. She has returned! Dearest gentle reader, it is said that there is no rest for the wicked. If that is true, this author must be rather virtuous. Not to worry, I am back and shall return soon enough with a full issue. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown. I don't like it. I am intrigued. Not a full issue, Surprise. bitch. I shall look forward to tomorrow's issue. Tomorrow's issue, I bitch. I wish to see some gossip. I want to see some gossip, bitch. To my discuss bro. your reward. Come with me. Are they about to be friends again? Oh, is he gonna find out? Oh lord! Oh lord! I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? This is all my fault. We have created a monster, Pen. A monster who seems to have a feud with me, and by extension, my family. I put them all in danger again, just like last year. That was my fault. No, I was reckless. Okay. So I now inviting that viper into my family's home, a viper who now. Who would have thought it would be Cressida to bring them back together? <laughs> with one issue, I can discredit Cressida. It's not just gossip. Whistle down is power. Writing was the only way I felt I could have a voice. Yes, yes, tell her! I should have been using the column to give a voice to the other voiceless. Please, let me use it now to do some good. Oh, well. Come on, forgive her, you forgive her. You must get right away. Yes. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy they made up. Oh my god, I was, I was stressing out about that, actually. Apologies for the late order. There's been some confusion with the silk delivery. You'll be paid handsomely for your rush service. Anything for Lady Whistle Down? Yes! Colin. You are Lady Whistledown. Oh, oh, my babies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. That was really good. Pretty intense. Pretty dramatic. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. And let's talk about that. That was a lot. I think I need to take a break before I watch the next two episodes because that was just so much. That was so much. I knew that all of this, of course, all of this has to happen, but it happened at kind of a breakneck pace, but I loved it. It was so intense. In two episodes, they managed to make me actually root for Penelope's relationship with her mother. They, man they managed to make me fall in love with Colin even more than I already am. <laughs> Luke Newton, boy, you talented. And speaking of talent, um, Nicola, girl, girl. Sorry, I'm like zoning out because I'm thinking about that love scene. That love scene! Oh my god! Okay, so like somebody said in my comments that it was gonna be two minutes long, ten minutes long, and I was like, nah, what? Ten minutes? I don't even know how long it was because I was so focused and so just like absolutely entranced by it. not only just them on screen together, but Colin's voice, Luke's voice. Oh my god! He made that ten times sexier than it 
already was. It was it was a it was an amazing love scene. And like I said, like I, I talked a little bit about about Titanic and um, it's it was a it was a, a car, not a carriage. Um, and that scene and how like it was pretty raw. And I know that Bridgerton is known for its romantic scenes and you know the passion that it displays between its lead characters. But I just have to say, and I am a romantic. And I just came off of watching like what I consider to be one of the greatest television couples all, of all time, Rick and Michonne from The Walking Dead, like have a really romantic season of television. But this shit right here, this shit right here, man, this shit right here, this shit is crack. This shit is crack, cocaine. I need, I need it all, all the time, the time uh, all, all days, days, all, all hours, hours of life. I need, I need this. this. They are so good together. That was the sexiest love scene I've, 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 I've ever seen. I'm sure there's amazing love scenes out there in the cinema verse. I'm so sure. And I'm sure I've seen some. But right now, all I can think of is Colin and Penelope because they were that good. Um, and I really love the way that they handled Cressida sort of like journeying through her bold announcement to get out of this marriage and trying to figure out how she's going to outsmart the queen and actually be a somewhat <laughs> competent writer which she did not do but she put up a good fight you know and and i'm glad that her mother was kind of behind her because like she had no choice and i really even though eloise and penelope's relationship the tension really got to me and i really got pissed off at eloise you know but i'm so glad that they came around together and you know i guess i i can forgive how long it took because when it happened it felt really good and it felt really good to not only refuse cressida and be like bitch i'm not helping you um but then when she finally does come around to like being like ew god no cressida uh-uh um, and Penelope finally being able to explain to her I mean I'm gathering especially because yeah like when you really think about it when you when whenever there are scenes with um, Eloise she's usually the one that's talking <laughs> y'all have noticed that she's, she's usually the one that's talking and she's usually the one that's focused on herself like she doesn't give much attention or, li or or weight to other people's issues and other people's problems she's like very self so she kind of you know what she kind of reminds me of I, I, here I am aging myself again but she kind of reminds me of Alan McBeal one of those characters that's so quirky that you think she's kind of adorable but she's so self-centered that you kind of hate her a little bit you know what I'm saying <laughs> um anyway so I'm just glad that they they reconciled um and trust old Netflix and Shondaland to leave the cliffhanger as Colin strolling right up on Lady Whistledown and discovering that Penelope secret at the end of the episode. That was an amazing cliffhanger. Um, that was almost as good as the carriage scene cliffhanger. Um, so yeah, I am having myself a very, very good time with this show. I, I, I love this show. Colin and Penelope made me a Bridgerton fan. I swore, like you can ask any of my friends. I was like, nah, I'm not, nah. Bridgerton, no, I'm never watching that, nah. Um, but they, they made me a believer. Oh, can we talk about Benedict? Put it in the comments. What do you guys think he's gonna do? Do you think he's going to think about it and come back and join that threesome with the... That's the, that's the most interesting thing that's happened with Benedict all season, I gotta say. So that, yeah, that's that's interesting. Anyway, I have a blast with this show. I'm gonna give the, these two episodes. Bro, I, I gotta give them a nine out of ten. That those were the best two episodes of the season so far. And if those were the best two episodes of the season so far, and we got the carriage scene, imagine what the last two episodes are gonna be like. So I cannot wait to watch those. I just gotta take a little break. I gotta take a little me time. I gotta process. Like, I'm a little overwhelmed here. <laughs> yeah, if you guys like what you see, please like the video, subscribe, because I am going to ride this baby till the wheels come off and I'm gonna be reacting to other seasons. Join me as we go on this Bridgerton journey that's almost over and no. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this. I'm gonna rewatch this season over and over again. Are you? I know you are, yeah. So let's do it together, bitch. Bridgerton fever pollen season all the way. Let's go. I don't know if the other couples are going to be able to top this. I really don't. We'll see. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.